Tennesseans have been fascinated by caves for centuries. And long before that, when Native Americans inhabited the rolling landscape, they too traversed the deep, dark rock masses, leaving meaningful messages uncovered thousands of years later. There are these hidden treasures and gems everywhere. Jan Schimmick has a long list of accolades to his name, including distinguished professor of anthropology at the University of Tennessee and the man who led the team that uncovered hundreds of images of prehistoric cave art. Tennessee, Alabama, Kentucky in particular, but Georgia as well. Um, is one of the richest areas for caves anywhere in North America. Nestled in these undisclosed locations are images both carved and painted on rock walls miles underground. And we've been in thousands in order to find the few hundred. One in particular discovered within the Cumberland Plateau, which cuts across Tennessee between Chattanooga and Nashville, was drawn 6,000 years ago, the oldest to date in North America. 6,000 years ago, people were hunting and gathering. They were um, and fishing. They were highly mobile. Sarah Sherwood is part of Shimmick's team. There's lots of <gasps> that goes on among um, all of us that uh, when we, you first see it, it's just so exciting. Also along the treacherous trails, artifacts of those who have traveled before. We see the cane, river cane torches that people use scattered all over the place gourds that they use to pick things up with, basketry. Images of animals, figures, and symbols meant to record tribal events and spiritual transformations. Red is the color of life, of birth. Black is the color of death. And so it sets off the relationship between what we find in caves, which is related to the underworld, and what we find on the bluff tops, which is related to the celestial realm, the upper world. All of which were important to indigenous people and their circle of life. This experience has, has sort of heightened your curiosity and your creativity about the way people were living in the past and gives them much more of a three-dimensional life, like our own. I mean, in terms of spirituality and connections to a place and to family and to our, our kin, our ancestors. People can experience this wonder up close in Clarksville. That is Dunbar Cave north of Nashville, where a very large archaeological site had accumulated in the mouth of that cave. We know it. That goes back 10,000 years. The site, also home to significant prehistoric Native American cave art. Another stop on their journey to new discovery. I think we'll all keep doing it as long as our knees will hold up. <laughs> as they continue to preserve the past.